what if I told you this shot was done completely handheld? Would you believe me? Well, in just a second, I'm gonna show you exactly how this shot was done. Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and I love great, smooth shots. Typically, we'd get these by either using a slider or a stabilization unit. But for this particular shot, I didn't have either of them available to me, but I needed to get the shot. So was everything lost? Nope. If you're stuck in the same situation, let me show you how I try to get clean, smooth footage with just handheld shots. Keep in mind though, the method I'm gonna show you requires you to slow your footage down in post. So things like synced dialogue won't work for this situation. Shoot your material at as high of a frame rate as you can. In a pinch, 30 frames per second could work, but try to go for at least 60 frames per second. Now take your camera and move it as smoothly as possible through your shot. The entire time trying to avoid rolling shutter and trying to keep your camera pointed as straight as possible towards what you want. It can really help if you find a way to weigh your camera down, like attaching it to your tripod. This will help prevent quick movements that cause rolling shutter. Also, wider angle lenses will be way more forgiving. If you try this with the telephoto, you're gonna get some really shaky results. Your footage might differ, but this is what mine looks like at normal speed. Ugh, gross. But we can still get a clean, smooth shot by doing just a couple of simple things. Set up your sequence for 24 frames per second, or 25 if you're running with the PAL system. This will give you the most amount of room to slow down your footage later. Now take your clip and we're gonna nest it. Right click and hit nest and then name it. How much you're able to slow it down by depends on what frame rate you shot it at. So for example, if you're working in a 24 frame per second sequence and you shot at 48 frames per second, you can drop your speed down to 50%. And here's what we get. Still not perfect, but it's getting there. Go to effects and choose warp stabilizer. Now apply it to your nested sequence. This is why we nested it before, because you can't make speed changes and also use warp stabilizer on the same clip. In effect control, select detailed analysis and then play around with your smoothness percentage until you see what looks good. Now let's take a look at our result. Wow, that's so much better. And all it took was an extra one minute of pre-planning and thinking ahead. I find that warp stabilizer can give you some really amazing results if you put it in the right situation. And slowing down your footage really helps. So there you go. If you're in a pinch or if you don't have a stabilizer, you can still get amazingly smooth shots. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you next time.